Are you tired of being raided, of having your sandstone house torn down night after night? Well, if you are, it's time to upgrade to tier 3, to reinforce stone. But to do this, you'll need shaped wood, hardened brick, and steel reinforcements. This is how you do it. In Conan, structures are divided into tiers, with tier 1 being the weakest. A tier 1, or sandstone foundation, has a building health of 10,000. A tier 2, stone brick foundation, has a building health of 50,000. And a tier 3, reinforced stone foundation, has a building health of 100,000. So we can see why it's imperative to upgrade to the highest tier possible as soon as possible. If you're new to the game, or if you've ever just wandered the map, you'll notice that most of the tier 1 or sandstone buildings have huge gaping holes in them. This is because they're easier to raid. A tier 3 structure is also raidable, but it takes a lot more effort and therefore you're more protected. The bottom line is that if an alpha clan on your server wants to raid you, they probably will and they'll do it fairly easily. But for everyone else, it's going to be much harder if you have reinforced stone or tier 3 structures. So let's get to it. You probably know that a tier 1 sandstone structure is based upon wood and stone. A tier 2 stone brick structure is based upon shaped wood and iron reinforcements, as well as brick. A tier 3 reinforced stone structure is based on steel reinforcements, hardened brick, and shaped wood. These three materials are what we need to focus on. Up first, shaped wood. Shaped wood is going to be the easiest material to get your hands on. All it requires is wood from a tree, which you can acquire by using a hatchet, placed in a carpentry bench, and then simply converted into shaped wood. Having a carpenter thrall will make this more efficient as it will use less wood to make shaped wood. The next material that you need is hardened brick. Making hardened brick is a little bit more complicated as it involves multiple steps. What you'll need is brick and stone consolidant. Brick is fairly easy to make as all it requires you to do is place stone into a furnace. Just like with the carpentry bench, you can place a smelter thrall into the furnace to make it more efficient so you use less fuel. The stone consolidant is made out of cauldron. It requires twine and ichor. And again, if you place a thrall into the cauldron, you will be more efficient with your fuel and your resources. Twine is easy to get as all you have to do is either pick a bush by hand or use a sickle to gather it faster. Ichor comes from a couple different sources. You can harvest ichor from spiders and skinning their body, or make a whole bunch of fish and shellfish traps. Bring everything that you catch back to your base and put it in a campfire in a fluid press. The unappetizing fish and shrimp that you put into the campfire will result in a cooked fish or shrimp, but will also give you ichor. And if you let the rest of the fish rot, the putrid meat when placed in a fluid press will also give you ichor. The final step to get stone consolidant is to bring your twine and your ichor to the cauldron. Place it into the cauldron and fuel it. In this case, I'm using coal to fuel the cauldron. After a short time, you'll have your stone consolidant. You now have all the ingredients to make hardened brick. Your final step is to take the brick and the stone consolidant place them both into a furnace. Turn on the furnace, and after a short amount of time, you'll have hardened brick. By now, you have shaped wood and hardened brick. Your last ingredient for tier three is steel. Here's how you make it. To make steel, you need these base ingredients, iron, hide, and brimstone. From hide, you get tar, and tar with brimstone gives you steel fire. When iron and steel fire is placed into a furnace, the result is steel. Your raw steel ingots then need to be placed into a blacksmith and turned into steel reinforcements. If you have a blacksmith thrall, you can save a ton of steel by placing it into the blacksmith bench. If this is your first time making steel, the task can seem quite daunting. So let's walk through each of the steps and show how to get all of these resources. Iron nodes are easily distinguishable from regular nodes because they have a bluish red appearance. 
mine the nodes with the pickaxe, bring the iron stone back to a furnace, run the furnace, and you'll have iron bars. You get tar by placing hide into a tannery. You can get hide from almost any creature in the game, including deer, crocodiles, rhinos, elephants, yeah, and even humans. The best way to do this is to kill the creature and then use a skinning knife on its body. You'll maximize your hide collection this way. Bring all of the hide you collect back to the tannery. Any hide will work, including hide, thick hide, reptile skin, fur, etc. Place it into the tannery and place bark to power the tannery. Given enough time, your hide will be converted into leather, and a secondary output will be tar. Use the tanner thrall here to maximize your production. To get brimstone, you'll have to travel to certain parts of the map. Going from west to east, you can get brimstone at the Shattered Springs. You get brimstone by harvesting the pointy rock formations in the center of the springs. But be careful, there's now a toxic gas in the springs that'll kill you if you don't have a sandstorm face mask. Make sure you equip the sandstorm face mask prior to entering into the area. In the center of the map, there are two caves, Sinner's Refuge and Galliman's Tomb. Both of these caves have brimstone nodes inside of them. It's filled with thralls that will attack you on sight. Galliman's tomb is filled with crocodiles hidden in the water, so be wary when you enter both these caves. Just to the east of the Black Galleon, you can find brimstone nodes located out in the open, but it's guarded by a spider boss. The final place you can get brimstone is in the oceans to the far east in the jungle. You'll have to swim underwater for these and pick them by hand. Because it takes a while to pick, it's recommended that you put points in the vitality to increase your breath. Work your way up and down the coast and pick as much brimstone as you can by hand. Okay, so you've gathered tar and brimstone. It's time to make steel fire. Head back to base and go to your cauldron. Bring an alchemist thrall if you have one. Put your tar and your brimstone into the cauldron, select steel fire, and turn the cauldron on. Once you have enough steel fire, transfer it from the cauldron into a furnace and ensure that there's iron ingots in the furnace as well. Activate the furnace and you will finally have steel. Then, once you have enough steel built up in your furnace, transfer that over to the blacksmith and then craft steel reinforcements. And now you're done. You've got shaped wood, hardened brick, and steel reinforcements. Everything you need to craft tier 3 reinforced stone structures. I hope this video has been useful. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and best of luck.